Ooh, look at how pretty that is. I saw this DUI online and wanted to try it myself with a thrifted glass and frame. Look at three bucks. I This is a design that I did in Photoshop. It's actually, I have a tattoo just like that. And it's 11 by 14. I'm using the simulated liquid lead for the lead and I had to replace it with the Elmer's glue top because it was coming out way too fast because the one on it originally makes everything come out super fast and it put it in a small one too so I could do the small lines and I'm putting the glass over it Doop. just like that trying to get it right and then here we go it took me I think two three hours to do this part you can see that the lines like when you put it down it spreads a tiny bit so that's why I put it in smaller tips because otherwise I'd have no um, things showing you know like where the bats ears are and stuff it was to gonna when I practiced it totally enclosed it with the nozzle that came on the bottle so I take it and then I don't drag it all the way to the ends I use the toothpick for that to get it super fine the tip super fine do, 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 do. I wish it was this fast when I did it because my hand was hurting squeezing that bottle na, 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 na. um did I already say about the glue the, some of the DUIs say that you can use the glue and black paint for this part and I tried it and it didn't work it was way too runny and I really wanted to try to do this with the glue with this with the glue so um, I found this stuff on Amazon and I was super happy tried it out seemed to work Ooh, look at the spider web. And then I was hoping that I wouldn't screw up such an intricate design. And I didn't. Yay! I did a pretty good job. I think it looks really cool just like that. I want to make some stuff just like that. I have some acrylic paint that I was using with the Elmer's clear glue you can't use the white glue because then it'll be it won't be see-through and then you're screwed and fine tip uh, paint brushes so you can get it all the way to the edge same with the use I almost call them q-tips one of those toothpicks and this is glass paint like you would put on um, wine glasses but it didn't, all the colors weren't so brilliant. The red and the blue was pretty nice. So I used the red for this, for the hearts. And that's why I used the acrylic paint with the glue for the rest of it because I wanted a really pretty purple. And the purple for, with the glass paint was just not brilliant. It, so th this is one of the parts I screwed up you'll see it looks like it would be super easy but it takes a lot of time to get in all those little tiny cracks and to get it all the way on the edge and you have to lift it up off the table every once in a while so you can see if you've gone all the way to the edge Ooh, look at how pretty. I want to use a lot of colors in this one. Colors that match 
the room that was going in, in the purple parlor, which just happens to be our bat room as well. And I didn't realize at first that I had put bats right here, but I was so happy. And I was like, oh, that's pretty brilliant. Didn't know I was that smart. Do -do -do. And then here we go. Let's go faster. All right. I let it dry, I let those ones dry overnight because when you put a second coat on it has to be completely dry or it won't lay right. Here's the second coat and I did it I think I only did a second I only did second coat on the bats cuz there was a lot of bubbles and I was trying to fill in the bubbles and it just didn't look vibrant enough and now you can really see the spider web it looks blue uh oh this is where I messed up uh, uh oh I made the paint way too thick with the glue and then it made it like opaque and ugly and it just looked lumpy and gross so I scraped it off with an exacto knife. I went all along the edges and got it all out very carefully. I had to redo the middle spokes too with the liquid lead. So I had to wait. This took me like three or four days because of trying to fix that mistake because you have to let it dry completely. And yeah the purple does look blue in these shots because it was evening. You can see all the bubbles. And then my friend said, But wait, it looks like old Victorian glass with the bubbles. I said, Yeah, I meant to do that. See what I did there? So I'm putting it inside the frame and trying to get it straight. I paid three bucks for this $30 frame. And I put on some hooky doos with a ribbon on the back. And then I put a bat on the top because you should all have extra bats laying around. Look how pretty it looks. I just hope that the glue doesn't shrink in the sun. So we'll see. The fun of DIY. Isn't it pretty? You should do one. Totes, my goats.